Hi there guys, Bullington here, and today I would like to welcome you back to MG Platinum's Extreme Ant Farm Survival. What we're going to be doing in today's episode is we are going to go on an adventure, and I'm going to pull the lever and show you that I have fixed my design here, so this now works. And uh, somebody said in a comment that uh, the spawners in that sapling dungeon that I found are slime spawners. I do know that, because... Uh, after I found it, I went back and finished watching Ant Venom's video, and he found that they're slime spawners. So I do know. Um, one other thing you'll notice is that I've changed this room up quite a bit. I've got a nice little bay window here, and uh, I was digging out in there. I'm going to put something pretty there, like a, I don't know, like a really detailed creeper face or something. Just something to look at from this window, because I thought just having a stone box would be kind of boring. Um, and then I also sorted all my chests. I said I was going to do it for the longest time and I finally did it. So all my chests are sorted now. They're down here. I have no chests up there at my base. Um, so this is pretty much my chest room for now. So uh, let me pull the lever and I'll show you that my wheat farm is correctly working now. Yep, see there we go. And uh, what I did find after going back and checking and counting is that uh, my wheat farm yields about a full stack of wheat and then a stack in almost a stack and over and a half of uh, seeds. So it's pretty good. It um, I'll go up here and show you that what it's doing. So basically, I did bring it out one more, like I said I was going to, but uh, it still comes out to this point. So I just I went ahead and planted another jungle tree up there as you can see so I'm, I'm pretty stacked on wood right now so I made two more signs for each one of these and uh, that works fine I was having some trouble with items getting stuck down there so I changed up the way that the water and the blocks interact right there just a little bit but uh, other than that I really didn't change much um, so yeah let's see I don't have any seeds or anything in my inventory so yeah, so it's just, it's right on the same amount each time. So it's a stack and two and then a 43 and 64. So yeah, it's uh the wheat farm is going doing very well after I, once I got it straightened out. Um, so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to cut out myself. I'm going to go up there and replant it. Um, but I want to save some time for this episode because we're going to go find uh, cows and we're going to go on an adventure. So I will rejoin you guys shortly. Alright guys, and we're back. Um, wheat farm is planted, and uh, I just did some chest organization from the stuff I had in my inventory, so I've got a nice clean inventory to go. And uh, I brought my other chest plate and my iron boots, because I foresee them breaking on this journey. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over there where I believe the cow is, and hopefully we'll find another one on the way. Um, another thing I did was I opened up this spawner that was right here and removed the outline of this. Uh, I think the obsidian creeper face looks kind of cool just back there. I'm going to, uh, once I get uh, a diamond pickaxe that I can delete all of that uh, obsidian there, um, I'm going to remove those and then bring this down so it's just going to be a creeper face in there. So I, just thought, I thought that would be kind of a neat thing to look at. And uh, also up here, quickly, I will go over and show you. Um, I want to put something there because uh, when you're walking down this hallway it looks pretty cool like you I want to have like a message there or a design there or something um, possibly with glowstone something that looks really cool just you know something that's aesthetically pleasing so uh, if you have any ideas about what I should put there um, leave it in the comments and let me know and I will consider doing it uh, but yeah I believe actually I believe the cow is up top so let's try let's try going a different way it's good try going away I haven't gone since I think the first episode which is like uh oh I heard the dirt the dirt underneath my feet and I didn't know what the hell it was um well let's go up here and there we go oh I got I didn't make myself another shovel oh no oh well that's not a big that's not a huge deal I can kind of live with that um but uh, I had a couple of things that I wanted to uh, address briefly. I, um, I've i kind of sorted out a standard description for uh, with all of my links and stuff for each one of the videos now. I went back and I added it to every single one of the videos in my Ant Farm series. And uh, basically what it is is it says it's got my Twitter handle on there. It's got my uh, a link to the, the gaming community, the League of Casual Gamers that I'm a part of. Um, if you're looking for 
people that uh, want to play. If you're looking for people that want to that you um, want to play with on uh, console and stuff like that, we also do some PC stuff. Uh, feel free to check that out. Um, good group of guys over there. We've got uh, we're international, so we've got uh, Australian, British, American, New Zealand, and uh, a couple of uh, a couple of others that I can't quite explicitly remember off the back off uh, off hand so if that sounds like something you're interested in feel free to click that link um, the other link which is basically which is pretty much the one the most important one in my opinion um, I decided to go ahead and make a forum thread for this series just as a formality uh, it's I put the link to that in the description down there so if you feel like helping out oh there's a sheep down here um, if you feel like you want to help out and uh, go a little above and beyond that's the way to do it. Um, you can go to that thread and help me keep it bumped. And uh, just the only thing that I ask about you doing that is um, don't spam it. If uh, like if you if you want to go on there and help out, just um, bump it once and say hey, and I I like this video, blah 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 blah. Um, but don't post like ten ten messages a day. Just like uh, one every day or two if you um, if you want to do that. And that'll that'll keep it neat, and that'll make it easy to find the videos and stuff in the post itself. Uh, and I would I would really appreciate that if you guys decide to do that. Um, you don't have to. I'm not telling you to do it. Just do it if you want to, and if you think you uh, want to spend some time on that. Um, get in that hole. Bye, buddy. All right, we got one cow in here and a bunch of sheep. Uh, so I'm ooh an egg. Um, how do all these sheep get... Oh, no, no, don't go down there! Oh, man. Look at all these sheep down here. Um, I got it. The cow is the thing I'm worried about. I've got to figure out how to get the cow back. I, uh... Oh, I'm a dumbass. I completely forgot to bring some wheat. Um, I'm going to run back to my base quickly and get some wheat, so I will see you guys in a second. Okay, and we're back. Um, I've got the weed, as you can see here. Now, the tricky part is getting... Holy fuck! No, don't you kill my cow. Don't you dare kill my cow. Okay. Alright, we're back in business. Alright, come on. Come on, cow. Oh, no. I'm just gonna pill her up and then get him from there. Come on, cow. Come on, cow. There we go. Come on. No, no, over here. Over here. Come on, you stupid, derpy son of a bitch. Let's go. There we go. Come on. Come on, follow me. Follow me. No, no don't fall off. Come on, come on. Come on, up. 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 Up, oh, let's go. Come on. Come on. You got this. You got this. Alright, we're doing it, guys. We are doing it. Where's the way I came in? Actually, I think it's... Actually, it's down here. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't get stuck in the stairs. Come on, please. Please don't get stuck in the stairs. Mobs are so stupid now. I really don't want this guy to get anything to happen to him. Because I think there's only one more in the map. I would. This would be my second cow, but the other one glitched and he's gone. I didn't kill him. I didn't accidentally hit him. I know that 100% for a fact. He just kind of disappeared on his own. Alright. So we got stairs now. You should be good. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I think this is the farthest I've ever successfully let a cow. Because usually, usually I have to like stop and go and stop and go, or I'll, I'll turn around and keep running, and he, uh, he won't be following me, and then I have to go back and try and get him again, and he doesn't, doesn't follow. I hear another cow. Is he back for some reason, or is this him? I guess it's him. No, no, no. Come on, come on. 
No, 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 don't go anywhere. Come with me. No, come here. No! No, 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 no. No, 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 get off the ledge. Get off the ledge. Get off the ledge. Get off the ledge. Come on. Come on. Get off the ledge. Let's go. Come on, you stupid pit or cow. Let's go. Okay, thank you. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on, you're up here. You're good. You're good, buddy. Come on. Come on, up the stone. Up the brick. Come on. Come on. Come on, I'm in. Yes! Yes! Success! It's a cow. And pigs. And it's... I'm going to make it an orgy as a sign of approval. So yeah, we've got little pigs and little little chickens and stuff. Alright, so that's successful. Um, I am going to continue to look for the other the other uh, cow if he shows up somewhere. Um, because if he's glitched away and died somehow, I'm going to see if it might be possible, if it's against the rules or anything, to spawn him back in because that's pretty much a game breaker if I don't have a way to get any kind of leather. Um, so we've got one cow here. You can see documented cow is here. I did it. And then um, I have a documented on one of my other videos that I had the other cow and he's gone. So it just inexplic inexplicably disappeared. Um, so I will, I will look into that. Uh, what I wanted to show off while I was standing here is this is my chicken coop. Um, this is Brenny Beast design, I believe. And uh, he gets credit for that because it's a great design. Uh, basically what it is, it's a water source block in the corner of this up here. And it flows from the water source block here all the way to the corner here. And then I have a sign. Chickens, by their nature, their game mechanics, they do the same thing that zombies do. They try to swim up and when they touch water so that they don't drown. And uh, basically what you do is you pick up the eggs from the drop right here. And then through this water right here. You see there, you, uh, oh no, I'm really glad a chicken didn't spawn. Oh, I got two, nice. Um, and eventually you just, uh, you start culminating more and more chickens and then you get bigger, bigger egg drops and then you get more and more chickens and it, uh, it just goes up kind of exponentially from there. Um, so eventually I'm going to be getting, I'm going to get a really, a really good chicken farm going and I'm probably, I'm probably going to replace these couple of blocks right here with some glass just so that I can see how many chickens I've got in there. Um, so yeah, what I think I'm going to go do is I'm going to go walk around for a little while and, uh, see if I can find another cow and, uh, I will rejoin you guys when I do. So stay tuned. Okay guys. And, uh, I'm back. Um, haven't quite found a cow yet, but, uh, I'm in the other earth zone. I decided that this would be the best place to look for another cow because it's basically untouched. I really haven't done anything here. So yeah, you can see my base is way over there on the other side. Um, but I just thought this would be kind of funny. This right here. What the hell is going on down there? They're having a freaking circle jerk of mobs. Come on, buddy. I wanted one of the creepers to blow up, but uh, I don't want to get close enough to him. I had a creeper incident right uh, right there. As you can see, that's kind of jagged. I uh, I had a creeper completely spawn on me. I had cleared that entire area over there and even thrown a couple torches down. But uh, just the second I let my guard down, a creeper spawns and blows up. But uh, luckily, I, w I heard him and was able to flip around in time to knock him away before he did any real damage to me. Um, ooh, there's still one. Oh. That's risky. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Okay, yeah, I just really didn't want to look at that Enderman. I'm trying to make this as easy on myself as possible in case I do find a cow up here because I want to be able to get him back to my other base. Um, yeah, no, no cows there, just zombies and skeletons and stuff. Let's go up farther. And I know that cows have to... Holy shit. He scared me. Oh my god. Look at all these mobs up here. 
Why'd he blow up? I was so far away from him. Oh. Wow, my god, there's a lot of mobs over here. Um, I don't think there's any way I'd be able to get a cow back right now. I need more torches for sure. Uh, I'm going to go down a little bit farther just to see, just to be sure. But uh, I think I think I might have to find that cow next episode because I think we're running out of time. Um, and I don't want to. I don't want to post another video like I did yesterday. Only reason that video is 36 minutes long is because uh, I didn't want to stretch out a wheat farm between two episodes. I just kind of wanted to get it built and then. Um, I wonder if he'll go off. Ha! He's done. Um, I wanted to just put the wheat farm in one episode for the most part, and then I kind of did the tweaks off camera that I talked about. Um, but yeah, this uh, this episode is going to be normal length. I don't want to do another long one like that because it's, it's it takes a long time to watch, and uh, you really have to sit down and actually get into it. And uh, I also, it takes forever for me to upload those things because even with a wired Ethernet connection, I can only update up yeah, I can only upload to YouTube at 200 kilobytes per second. Um, it's actually, it's a little bit closer to 3, but uh, it's still, that's still nothing. That's still really shit. And um, I've, I've got, and it's not my internet because I've got a really good, I've got a very good plan for internet. I pull uh, about, ooh, um, I pull about 25 megabits down, and then my upload speed says it says that my upload speed is around 4 megabits per second. But I just I can't make YouTube accept anything faster than almost 300 kilobytes per second, and that's really, really annoying because it just takes forever to upload videos. And uh, that's one of those things. That's one of the few things about being a partner that I really want is because um, I have heard that partners get uh, Dropbox act. Dropbox access so that uh, basically you can uh, when you have a video created you get a Dropbox folder on your desktop that you can drop your file into and then it automatically uploads to, uploads to YouTube and uh, Dropbox is really really fast like uh, we were using some of that to we're using Dropbox to coordinate some of the video for my new series and it's we're dealing with like 20 gig files um, okay that's that's kind of a lie they're more like uh, two or three gig files, and we can upload them between each other at uh, maybe 15 minutes at most. So that's that's a that's saying something because when I upload to YouTube, it's usually about a gig. It's probably a little bit less, but um, yeah, that's one of the things I would like to have for a partner looking down the road. Uh, the other thing is I want uh, thumbnails because I feel that videos. All videos should have a thumbnail that's descriptive and basically tells whoever's watching it what the video is about. And uh, it kind of kills me that I can't have thumbnails yet, which is why on a lot of my videos I try and pick the. Or so, sometimes it works out, sometimes I can. Holy shit. That's a pretty evil spawner. Um, I didn't even know that was there, but uh, it would make sense because it's really loud. But uh, sometimes I can get lucky and I can get my outro splash screen as the uh, thumbnail. But sometimes it doesn't work. Like some of my videos have it. Um, actually a few of them do. I think four or five of them do. And then the rest of them are just some random screenshot. Which was the best out of the three that I could pick. And uh, this, is my, this is my garbage sheet right here. This is my little design for it. It's basically a, um, just a hole. And uh, a fence post and a sign. So that uh, it looks flush right across here. Oh, excuse me. Um, looks flush right across here, but the fence post keeps you from falling in. And then, yeah, you can see right here, I've got my my forward pressed on my keyboard, and it's not doing anything. And uh, then you put a lava block down at the bottom. So you just go here, and um, you just sit here, and you do this. And then eventually, uh, it, it all burns up if you've got the lava down there. Um, but I think I think this is about an episode right here. Is that a skeleton up there? Is that really a skeleton up here? Oh man, I'm getting skyped. Um, I should should have turned that off. But uh, of course I broke wheat. Where'd he go? 
Oh, there he is. Hello. I don't know why he's spawning up here because uh, I've lit this hole up, this whole area up fairly proficiently. Actually, I think I think this one needs to go there, and that might help a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think this is about an episode for today. And then uh, off camera, I'm going to continue to look for that cow. I'm not going to do anything exciting. I just I have my my goal in this playthrough right now is find another cow because I have to have an enchanting table as you can see in my uh, my experience bar I've got 41 levels to spend I'm going to straight off the bat when I get uh, straight off the bat I'm going to enchant a uh, pick it no what was I gonna do I was going to enchant a uh, I'm probably gonna enchant a sword a level 30 sword to keep me safe either that or I'm going to uh, I might do a pickaxe I might get uh, get, get a diamond pickaxe grind for uh, enderman pearls and then uh, get a pickaxe but uh, I left a post on the forum page for this episode or for uh, this map trying to figure out how I can update it because I found out that this version is uh, 1.0 which is the initial release of the map and it's been updated three times since then so there was a 1.1 a 1.1.2 and then a 1.1.13 um, and then 1.3 is when he fixed when mg platinum fixed the uh, enderman spawners so apparently right now there's no enderman spawners there's supposed to be mushrooms a mushroom biome type area in that world over there and uh, there's supposed to be nether wart in the nether fortress down there. Um, as of right now, those three things do not exist in this map. So I need to figure out uh, from him how to update it um, without losing my progress. What uh, it probably will come down to is I just need to find, go on a video and figure out where the placement of the spawners is and go and MC edit and do it that way. Uh, which I really don't want to do because I really don't like using MC Edit. It's just, uh, it doesn't work really great on my system. So, and I, I don't really like the controls for moving around and placing stuff. But uh, we'll see. So um, I think I'm going to call it a day here. Uh, I would like to thank you guys for watching. For Extreme Ant Farm Survival, this is Bullington, signing off.